You know, I, I just thought of another vi uh, deer encounter story. However, this has nothing to do with me. This is a story that I was told uh, by somebody. So when I was in college, an undergrad uh, in Bemidji, I had a job for just a short period of time, a couple of months maybe, but my job was to go over to this to this 24-hour uh, grocery store. Can't even remember the name of it, but you know it was a big grocery store, and uh, and I my job was to clean the floors with one of those those little things that look like a zamboni that you you know. Uh, so and I think I would start at midnight, and I think it took me two or three hours. I can't even remember, but. Or maybe it was 10 to 1. It doesn't matter. So, so there is this kid that worked at the grocery store. He he was he was college age. He wasn't in college, but he was the he was like the the assistant manager of the of the meat department. So he he could you know he knew how to cut meat and, and butcher things and that sort of stuff like that. So he told me a story that. One night he was on the way, or one morning, because he worked all night. So early one morning he was on the way home, driving on the highway out of Bemidji, and he hit a deer. It wasn't far from work, but he hit a deer in the back. And so it didn't kill it, but it definitely, it looks like, well he said, but you know, they must have broken his back because it was basically dragging itself across a field. And again, wild animals are tough. And uh, so he drove back to the store Got a butcher knife. <laughs> this is when you're raised in Bemidji, Minnesota. This is the kind of stuff you do. He drove back out to where the deer was, got out of the car with his big butcher knife, ran across the field, jumped on the back of this deer, pulled the deer's head up, and slit its throat to kill it so it wouldn't <laughs> so it wouldn't suffer anymore. I'm telling you, those Northwoods folks, they know what's happening. Anyway. Thanks again for listening. Love you.